Jennifer from Sea Lemon. I still have a really big bag of cement left over from my previous cement projects, and you guys have been asking for more organization ideas. So in this video, I will show you five DIY cement organizers to try. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you get notified when I post new videos. And I will put all of the links and the supplies in the video description below, and let's get into it. In case you're new to working with cement, I want to give you some tips that I've learned from my experience in working with it. First off, I highly recommend wearing gloves because the wet cement can really dry out the skin on your hands. It also helps to wear a mask because sometimes opening up a bag of cement or just mixing it can blow up a little puff cloud of cement and you don't want to breathe that in. And I'm sure you can guess that working with cement can be messy and I suggest covering up your workspace with something, some kind of cover. I use this really inexpensive table covering. I think it's uh, like for parties. It's just really cheap and inexpensive and really easy to roll out on the table. And for the molds, I found it best to recycle old food containers, especially paper containers because they're the easiest to rip off when your cement is all dry. Some plastic containers work better than others, but if you're worried about your project not releasing from the mold, you can brush on a little vegetable oil before you pour the cement in. For the cement mixture, you want to start with equal parts cement and water. And you'll see that cement cloud coming up. That's why it's a good idea to wear a mask. You'll want to keep mixing it, adding more cement or water if you need to, to achieve a peanut butter consistency. So there isn't an exact measurement, it's just whatever you need a little bit of each to make that consistency. This bowl and spoon are my dedicated cement mixing tools, so you want to use disposable kitchenware or if you're using kitchenware, don't use it on food after this. So this is the cement mixture I'm using on all five projects, and you want to have your molds ready before you mix the cement. So now that you have the recipe, you're good on that, so let's get into the molds. First up is a memo holder. I'm recycling a cardboard food container for this. And to make a debossed design on this, I'm using adhesive foam shapes in the form of stars and just peeling off the back and putting them all around the container. I place them in a random pattern on the inside and for the wire part, you can use jewelry or floral wire in the color and size of your choice. To make the holder part, you're going to make a spiral on the end of the wire and you can do this with a pen or a marker. You're going to wrap it around two to three times to make a spiral circle. And then for the length, you can add it into your container to see how tall you want the wire to stand. You can make as many of these as you want in different size spirals and different heights. And I'm going with two tall ones and four shorter ones. And now this mold is ready for the cement. I want the base to be as tall as the container, so I filled it up just about almost the way, and then I'm tapping it on the table to release any air bubbles, and then arranging the wires into the cement. I push the wires down toward the bottom of the base so it's a good foundation and the wires won't move. Then I let the cement dry completely for 24 hours. And then comes the fun part, unwrapping the mold. And to remove the foam shapes, you can use something like a toothpick to pull them out, but make sure to do it carefully because the cement can crack. You can then file or sandpaper any rough or sharp edges, and then it's ready to hold any memos, notes, paper swatches, small photos, pretty much any small paper item you can fit into those little spiral wire holders. It's a good way to declutter your desk and a fun way to display any random notes you have. And I do like the debossed stars on the cement. I think it's a really cool touch. Next, let's try a pen organizer. I'm using a square milk carton for this, but you can also use a different shape if you want to. I'm cutting it in half and then I'm going to trace the bottom so I know the dimension of it and I can draw out a little plan. I found this really helpful so I know how many pens I can fit into this organizer. And I'm also going to try to fit a little pad of sticky notes. Next, I'm going to wrap all of these supplies in wax paper and tape so I can use them in the mold and they'll be protected and the cement isn't going to ruin them. This doesn't have to be a perfect wrapping job, just make sure that there's enough on there so the water from the cement isn't going to ruin your supplies. Next, for the base, I'm using adhesive foam shapes again, and this time in triangles, and I'm going to make another debossed look on the inside of the container. 
These foam shapes are optional, but I think they add a really fun dimension to the cement, and you can find them in a lot of different shapes. Now my container is ready for the cement, and I'm going to shake out any air bubbles just like I did the previous one. Then I'm going to add my supplies, and I'm referencing that quick sketch I made, so again it makes it easy to know where you're going to put your supplies in. And this step can take a little time, as you add more stuff in, the cement expands, so you might need to readjust some of your pens. Then you want to let the cement dry only for a few hours or so, just until the cement is hard enough that it will hold its shape so you can remove all of your pens and supplies. If you leave them in, they will be much harder to remove, so you want to take all of them out and then let that base dry completely for about 20 hours or so. Then you want to carefully remove the outside mold, and you can remove those foam shapes with a toothpick or something similar. Then unwrap all the pens and add them to your new cement organizer. I think I unwrapped mine a little too soon because unfortunately the side where the sticky notes are supposed to be cracked off the cement. So I'll just turn this around and place it on my desk in this direction and you can't even see it. It does make a unique and functional piece for my desk and now I have a spot for my little pencil sharpener and my pens. Next is a handy paper holder. You can use a disposable latex or vinyl glove for the mold, and you're just going to add the cement right on in the glove. You can push any air bubbles out and fill it up to about the end of the palm. Roll the end of the glove and close it with a clip. And to shape the hand, you can use the edge of a box. Make sure the thumb is positioned in a place where it can actually hold paper once it's dry, and you may need some scrunched up paper or stuffing to put inside the box to help hold the hand's shape. The cement did start coming out of the end of the glove, so I used a different clip to hold it together. And it did take me a while to position the hand, this is what I came up with, and I took this whole box outside so it's easier for the cement to dry. This top area is going to be the part that sits on a tabletop, so you want it to be kind of flat. So to help it dry flat, I recommend putting something flat on top of it, like a plate or a bottom of a pot. This is a solar light, that's what I had lying around, so that's going to do the trick. After letting it dry for 24 hours, remove the box, remove the clip, and carefully remove the glove because it might be dried within the creases of the hand. This actually came off easier than I thought it would, surprisingly, so it might not be that difficult. Use sandpaper or a file to sand down any rough, sharp edges, and then you have a handy paper holder organizer. The position of the thumb is what holds the paper to stand upright, so I'm glad that that dried in that direction. And you can hold your notebooks, you can hold mail in it, you can put the paper between the fingers if you want to. It's a quirky and functional piece to add to your shelf or desk that can literally hang on to any of your paper stuff. Next is a really easy, small catch-all. I'm recycling a plastic fruit bowl and I'm using the lid part to make the actual dish and the bowl part to make the shape on the inside. Add the cement to the lid and then tap it on the table to release any air bubbles and push the bowl on top to make an even concave shape on the dish. If you want to add some decor to this, you can use tiles or beads and make a mosaic in the cement. I pushed in these triangular glass tile pieces and then I'm going to let this whole thing dry for 24 hours. Then remove it from the mold and you can file down any sharp pieces on the edge of it and wipe off any cement that dried on the mosaic pieces. And there's my small, simple cement catch-all. You can use this to organize the random small things that usually get lost and I think it's a great place for keys or change. The next one I'll show you is an easy modern ring holder. On the corner of a piece of paper, estimate how tall you want this cone shape to be. Then sketch out a curve on the corner of the paper and cut it out. Now roll it to make a cone shape and use tape to hold it in place. And make sure to tape the tip of the cone so the cement doesn't seep out. Then add the cement into the cone. You'll need a way to hold the cone upright while it dries so it dries with a flat top. I ended up using three wooden blocks that I had to use as a holder. I put the cone in the middle of them and they seem to do the trick. 
After it's dry, carefully remove the paper around it. Sand any rough areas if you need to, and sand the tip if you don't want a sharp ring holder. I also added some copper acrylic paint to the base. And after that's dry, it's ready to use. This is more of an industrial take on a ring holder. You can put it near your bedside or wherever you display your jewelry, and it can look like a functional modern piece of decor. If you want to protect the surface of your cement and prevent chipping, you can spray on a clear sealant. I did this to all of my organizers outside. And if you want to prevent your tabletops from your cement scratching, you can also put some felt on the bottom of your cement pieces. I hope this video gave you some ideas to try with cement, and I do have a few more cement DIYs on YouTube, and I will link all of those videos in the description below. And let me know which of these cement organizers was your favorite, and if you have some specific DIYs you want to see on this channel in the future, leave it in a comment below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you get notified when I post a new video. And a big shout out to my patrons. If you're interested in supporting more videos on my channel, go check out my Patreon. I will also link it down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.